So what I'm going to do is, I'm, first of all, I'm going to fill in this little bit here. Now you've got to remember, be careful, go slow, you've got all your facial arteries there. I may need to do, because if it is slightly bumpy just there as well, is to just soften that as well. Okay? But this treatment is something that makes a world of difference to people. Okay, so I'm going in from this angle. I'm going to squeeze the nose up to more or less how I want it. Going very gently. And then jet very, very, very gently, very slowly. Now this, this won't take a whole syringe. So I can use it somewhere else as well if I need to. Feel <clears throat> right, so Sarah, I've just asked her how it felt, and she said it's fine, she can't really feel it. Right, so I've still got a little bit more there to do. The most, the ten, most tender place to the nose is just, is just under here if you're trying to bring the tip up. But what I, I use toxin first of all in the muscle under there. You relax the muscle there, the nose tips up. Okay? That's the advanced course, though, girls. <laughs> It's looking pretty good already. I'm just going to soften it a little bit here. Rita, do you have specific areas you have to be careful of when you're injecting the nose? Yeah, the, the, the arteries. Was that? Was that? Yeah. yeah, the arteries. Yeah, that's why you need to go really slowly. To use a cannula here, it's not specific enough. You need to be able to see what you're doing. And that's why I don't like using cannulas on the lips. I can get a much better shape with a needle. With a cannula, you've got one long line you're trying to go through. You can't really shape it so well. I think that's it, done. Can you look sideways? Can you see that? No bump there at all now. And I've only used 0.4 of a mil.